I can't believe I'm being that basic with my thumbnails now. What's going on you guys? My name is Kobe Danny and welcome to another video. I've just got all set up with my PC. I've just got SolidWorks installed. I'm going to show you how you can get dark mode in SolidWorks. So SolidWorks is starting up now. This is a little trick that I found is really, really helpful and it's really, really good because SolidWorks is very bright and dark mode just kind of helps you, helps your eyes a bit better, uh, less strain and that stuff. So I'm here in SolidWorks and it's actually pretty easy. We're just going to create a new part real quickly. And then we are going to fit around with a few little settings. So first on the top here, you yours might be like that. I always unpin mine, but you go to options. From options, you'll find a tab called colors. And by default, your background is set to light. What you need to do is you need to switch that to dark. So we'll switch that. We'll see what happens. Boom, everything goes dark. The only problem, the only thing that doesn't go dark is your actual, you know, background where you're working. You know, you want it all to be dark as well. There's a way to fix that. So we'll go to settings, back to colors, and we'll use viewpoint background. We're gonna switch it here to plain, and then over here at edit, we're gonna change our color. I'm gonna switch it to 80, by 80 by 80 RGB colors. You can select it to any color you want. You say, okay, say, okay, boom. SolidWorks dark mode, amazing. But we can get fancy with it now. So we're going to back to options and back to colors. And we're gonna switch this to gradient. We're then gonna switch our top gradient color, which you click on over here. Switch that. I'm going to make that our previous color of 80, 80, 80 on the RGB scale. And then you're going to switch your bottom gradient color. I'm going to take that to 15, 15, 15, a much darker gray. So you can see I have two different grays here. I've switched that to gradient and then let's say, okay, and boom. You've now got a cool little gradient here. So you can switch this to actually your company colors, any colors that you want you can switch these colors too. So let's make a quick little block, show you how everything looks. So a little block, bring that out. I just love the way this gray pops with the rest of the model colors. It really makes your model stand out, especially if you're trying to display things. Let's throw a quick fillet on there. Boom, boom, boom. And let's get fancy with the whole wizard. Uh, Let's go for that one, okay? Uh, let's make it big, really big. And we're gonna select there. And cool. I missed something. <laughs> I don't use the whole feature very often because I'm not really ever using detailed holes, but I digress. So. Cool, you made your model, that's cool. But as your model gets more and more complex, every now and then you have to go across to this little fly out tree. Usually your tree is over here, but sometimes you just wanna grab it from there. And now the problem that you can see there is that we've turned everything dark, but that text has not changed, it's still black. There's a way to fix this. So we are gonna go back to settings, back to colors, and then we are gonna find the fly out menu option. Where is it? Fly out feature manager design tree text. You can see it is set to black. So we're gonna edit that. I'm just gonna take this and whack it all the way to the top, make it white. We're gonna say okay. Gonna say okay again. And now let's have a look at our tree and see it's perfectly visible. So all of these, every single little color scheme here, you can change. You can fiddle around, you can try different dark modes that you like. You can even add an image with a PNG so you can have your logo at the bottom if you are like a streamer or someone who's designing stuff. So you can actually have your logo on your screen all the time. Um, 
these are fun little ways to customize your SolidWorks the colors that you like and if you ever you know get lost or you 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 make changes and you don't know how to change it back you've always got the reset colors to default button and you press okay and SolidWorks just goes back to normal I'm gonna put this back in die mode hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you enjoy these little tips and tricks around SolidWorks interface and that stuff um, I was blown away when I found out you can do this and I thought I'd share it with others um, if you'd like more of this kind of content it was just tips and tricks around uh, SolidWorks and that stuff please let me know please give a like and a, and a comment um, please subscribe to my channel we'll see you guys in the next one boom that's how you make the money Loki <laughs> <laughs>